Hey again, YouTube. This is Isaac Gomez Everything Reviews with a quick follow up of the Acer Chromebook Spin 514. Um, thought I'd do a quick review of this after my initial unboxing. So far, I have pretty much nothing but positive things to say about this. Um, I use this a little bit for work. The program that we use at my job in particular, it's a web-based program. Um, and I'm able to access it with this laptop at home now. Um, the old PC I have in my downstairs has long kicked the bucket, so I needed something to replace it. And as you can see from my background picture, um, I have kids, and my kids love this little Chromebook it does not disappoint. One thing I did not really demonstrate on my initial unboxing video was uh, the fact that this Chromebook could pretty much turn into a pretty big hefty tablet, if you will. I can show you real quick how it receives its name, Spin. So we could just convert it real quick. So there I have it standing up on its edge, essentially in tablet mode, and you could completely flatten it out if need be. When in this mode, um, when I first showed my kiddos this, they got a real kick out of it. They did not expect that. And um, I don't know, it's just kind of neat how you could do that. So far, um, we're very satisfied with the quality, the build quality of this thing. Um, one thing to point out, the uh, the mouse pad is it's very clicky, it feels great to the touch. Um, the keyboard itself is pretty nice. Um, you can't really tell right now, but it is in fact backlit. I can show you that real quick. So when I shut off the lights, you could see that a little better. So they light up real nice, and it actually looks really nice in person. Um, this little Chromebook has shown that it it's a little powerhouse. It Its processor seems to handle the basics. Um, I've been actually tinkering with emulation on it these last couple of days. And... Like mentioned previously before, I believe in my uh, unboxing video, I may have mentioned that this uh, Chromebooks, they pretty much run on Android. You could get on the Play Store and um, get Android apps on the Play Store. And right now I have uh, some games for the kids. And, and for me, I'm the biggest kid in the house, actually. So... Um, I actually downloaded the SNEX 9X. Try to get out of the reflection here. Um, and this is a little off topic, but I thought I'd show you guys anyhow. Um, how a simple emulator works, the SNES 9X. Um, runs really nice. I mean, as you would expect. And, um, I actually have, um, sorry, what I was going to say, what I have is, um, I actually have wired controls that I connect to the Chromebook, and I don't have one connected right now, but, um, it works really good, so just, uh, a little info there if anybody wants to run a uh, an emulator on there it it runs great I mean as it would on any other laptop modern day laptop so um, I thought that was pretty neat something I've been like I said tinkering with in the last I actually have the dolphin emulator on here too to run Wii and uh, GameCube games but I still haven't been able to make the controllers work so I'm Still trying to figure that one out. I'll show you guys the dolphin emulator real quick. 
like I said, sorry if this is a little off topic, but I do like the fact that this does have the horsepower to run an emulator like the Dolphin. And I'll try to find one of the Dolphin games here that I have downloaded and unzipped. Um, let me see. So we'll try this one right here. Okay, that was, looks like it was a corrupted file for some reason. Let's see if I could try it again, maybe it'll. No, oh, it doesn't want to run that one for some reason. This is gonna be, uh, see if I could figure it out. I'm doing this video in a one take, so I'm not gonna edit this stuff out. That was actually my mistake. I was trying to open up a Super Nintendo game on the Dolphin. I was trying to open up Super Mario World, and actually I was trying to open up new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii. So, let's try that again. Maybe. Well, maybe not. I guess this is not going to work for the camera. Okay, for some reason it's showing that that one is not unzipped, so, um, might have the unzipped one right here, might, might not, yeah, here we go, sorry about that, but, um, I guess you could say this video is as real as they get. So, right now we have the what? the on-screen controls, the virtual controls, if you want to call them that. But, I do have controllers that work with the Super Nintendo emulator, so, trying to figure that out for the Wii emulator, but as you can see, it's, <laughs> the game runs, um, which is kind of neat. I never figured I'd be running an emulator on uh, a dolphin emulator on this thing, but all I did was download the uh, the app on the on the Play Store and found some ROMs and went from there. Of course, they're ROMs that I already own, so remember, emulation is illegal, you guys. So they're just copies of something I already have. But anyway, um. It's kind of neat fiddling with this kind of stuff. Um, and like I said, the fact that this um, this computer has the horsepower to do it, it's pretty neat in my book. And certainly the kids like it too, so. So we're gonna exit emulation right now. As far as other features on the computer, um, right now you probably heard the speakers. Um, they were pretty loud. They're not the best speakers in the world. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, they're decent. If I were to rate the speakers, let's say 1 out of 10, I'd ra rate them probably a solid 7. Which isn't isn't the best, but it's not the... Um, it's not the best rating in the world either for speakers, but um, overall it's satisfactory. Um, would I recommend this Chromebook? Absolutely. I got this Chromebook um, in the summertime. Heck of a deal on Best Buy. I'm sure, I haven't looked, but I'm sure there's still... Um, good deals on at best buy for this chromebook and others so if you're on the fence you've never owned one um do it you won't be sorry and if you don't like it and you have kids the kids will like it uh, my point is it will get used in your household one way or another um 
a couple of friends of mine have mentioned that when they were in college, they had a Chromebook and they were super happy with them. So that's kind of good to know also. Um, I usually typically don't rate the products that I um, that I review here quickly on, on my uh, YouTube channel, but you know, since I rated the speakers right now, I might as uh, might as well rate the the computer as a whole. And I would say this computer gets a nine out of ten. I would highly recommend you getting this thing if you're on the fence. Um, it's neat. Acer is a is a quality company. I've I've had previous experience with a, a brother of mine had bought a laptop from them years ago and. And it was great then, and they're still good now. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, review and update on my Acer Chromebook. Thank you. Thanks for watching.